you can make it for adults, anybody who might be a picky eater or not. I mean, it's that good. All right, so just twist the pasta around until it's all submerged. And notice this is a large skillet. We're gonna start with just a couple tablespoons of olive oil. We're just gonna add some garlic and some shallots into the olive oil so as that continues to heat up. And before the garlic like burns or anything like that, we wanna put the mushrooms in, throw all these in. But we're looking for like a really nice caramelized color. Like you want it to be golden brown. It's really important. Okay, these are looking good and they're starting to get some color, which is exactly what we want. And when we cut the chicken, just make sure you cut it into like bite-sized pieces because, so just use the back of your spoon and break it all up. Make sure everything has like ample real estate in the skillet. And then we're gonna cook all of this until the chicken's done and then assemble. Let's go ahead and give this a little seasoning as we go. Board, and then the pasta is going to go back in here and we're just going to let it hang out until the chicken mixture is ready to go. Chicken and mushroom mixture is done. Oh my god, this smells insane. Just dump it right into the pasta, juices and all. And then with your tongs, just mix everything together. Chives. If you can't find chives, you can. we need some lemon zest, which we zested earlier. All right, then we're gonna add in some lemon juice, a little bit of salt, some red pepper flakes to give it a little bit of a kick, some more ground black pepper, Parmesan and Romano, and I don't really know what else, but it's delicious. Like any of the packaged ones are fine. Just dump that all in. It all, we'll just go ahead and mix it all up. Look at that, you can like see the this up in a bowl. So just twirl it up. Make sure you have some chicken on there.
এবার আমি পাস্তা গুলোকে একে একে ঢেলে দেব বয়েল ওয়াটারের মধ্যে ঢালার পর পর একটু নেড়ে দেওয়া উচিত কারণ নারিয়ে না দিলে যেটা হয় কি একটির সাথে আরেকটা একটু লেগে যাওয়ার সম্ভাবনা থাকে বেশি ওভারহিট না হয় ওভারহিট হলে বাটা কিন্তু পুরে যায় টু স্পুন গার্লিক ফ্রনটা দিয়ে দিব ওয়ান টি স্পুন সল্ট ওয়ান টি স্পুন হোয়াইট পেপার বেল পেপার রেড ক্যাপসিকাম গ্রিন ক্যাপসিকাম অ্যান্ড মাশরুম আধা কাপ পানি অ্যাড করব তার মধ্যে আমি মিক্স করে দিব পাস্তাটা আমি এখন এর মধ্যে দিব হচ্ছে আধা কাপ টমেটো সস এর মধ্যে দিব এক কাপের মতো ফ্রেশ ক্রিম আপনি ফ্রেশ ক্রিম না থাকলে আপনি ইচ্ছা করে জ্যানো ক্রিমও ইউজ করতে পারবেন এরপর আমি অ্যাড করবো তিন স্পুন সুগার right here whenever possible go ahead and get yourself some fresh parsley you know fresh herbs are like the best and right here i'm just going ahead i'm just uh dicing them up getting them ready and then you know i just wanted to make like at least a quarter cup you can make a little bit more because at the end you want to save a little bit so you can get your garnish together and then right here again you know what fresh is best this is some live basil hey hands down fresh basil fresh parsley is the best Now right here, I already got four cups of ricotta cheese already in the bowl. Then you want to add your two eggs. We're going to add our Parmesan, our mozzarella, our fresh herb. And don't forget, we're going to save some of our uh, basil and some of the parsley. Just enough, at the, you know, for when we're done cooking at the end, we want to garnish. So again, don't forget you want to add your uh, salt and your black pepper. After that, then you want to mix it all together and then we'll go from there. Now the one thing you guys didn't see me do, and that's boil large jumbled uh, pasta. There was no need for me to do that, uh, to show you how to do that. So listen, when you buy them, it's just one box of large jumbo shells and then follow the instructions. So when you're done, you wanna let them cool and that makes them easy to handle when you get ready to start putting your stuff inside of them. After you have all of your ingredients in your bowl, this right here is where you wanna mix them all well get them mixed thoroughly then set them off to the side go ahead and get your dish that you're going to be you know baking in and here i'm using emerald's home style marinara listen i love it this is like the best you know the best store-bought uh marinara that i've ever uh, tasted eventually i'm going to do a uh video on how to make a marinade you know from scratch but right now you know what i mean for our busy schedule and you know you're looking for that great taste this right here is the one now what you saw there was, I just coated the bottom of our, our bacon dish, you know, just lightly with a little bit of the marinara sauce. And here you see me sprinkling some herbs. This part right here is uh, truly optional. And then you'll see me sprinkling some cheese. Again, it's just optional. I just like the way it looks. So once we're done, you know, coating the bottom, if you do this step, fine. If you don't, that's good too. Uh, that's cool too. Go ahead and get yourself a freezer bag. Now listen, this is going to be like a little pro tip. This is what's gonna make it easy to stuff your uh, shells. Instead of you taking a spoon and stuffing them, listen, you wanna fill up your Ziploc bag. You know, you wanna completely fill it up with all your, ric your ricotta uh, cheese and all your stuffing. You wanna put that in there, seal the bag, and look. Then we are gonna cut the corner and we are gonna squeeze it. And we are gonna use that corner to insert inside the jumbo shells. And that's how we are gonna stuff them. Now after you cut the corner, listen, you just want to insert the corner inside. You want to open up the jumbo shell and then you just want to insert it, squeeze the Ziploc bag and just, it depends on how much uh, stuffing you want to put in there. You know what I mean? That's totally up to you. But you can see right here, look, the more you put in there, the bigger they are. I love the cheesy ricotta uh, 
you know, mozzarella taste. You know, to me, that's the Italian flavor. I love it, so I stuff them a kind of big. Now, right now, your mouth should be watering. Look, here we go. Just add a little of the marinade, marinade sauce, you know, inside of a scoop. You can use a spoon or you can actually pour it. This way, by me using this little scoop right here, this was, uh, you know, where I had a little bit of control. I just added some lightly over the top, came back with some mozzarella cheese and then some Parmesan cheese and then sprinkled some herbs over the top and then we put it in the oven. Listen, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and we're going to put it in the oven for about 15 uh, it depends on your oven, so I'm going to say anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, and I forgot to tell you this. Listen, we got to go ahead and put some foil over the top. So when we go in the oven, that's 15 to 20 minutes with it covered with foil, and then we bring it out and we take a look at it. Now for me, after 17 minutes, I removed it from the oven. I turned my oven up to 400 degrees. I removed the foil and then I put it back in the oven for about five minutes or until all the cheese is melted at that 400 degrees. And that there is stuffed pasta shells. 